good news, bad news. Bad news is I didn't get to eat yet, so that sucks. Good news, Danganronpa V3 is back. Oh, let's see how this turns out. This, this is either going to be the final trial. If the, if this, the pattern set by the first two games is going to be followed, this should be the final trial. Or there could be an, an extra sixth chapter. Or seventh if you want to count the prologue. So let's see what happens. Um, it's just that Monokuma said everyone needs to be here. And the only ones missing right now are Kaito and Kokichi. So, you know, that's not at all bothersome. Oh, boy. Let's see how this turns out. Man, he's so strong. We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. You know, let's say there's a grave robber in there, but still, other than that, silent as a tomb. Ah, oh, man, look how small it is. I mean, I, that, how few people there are. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we knew, know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Oh, it's different now. Ah, a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. I was gonna, I was, right when we were coming down here, I was just thinking that unlike the first two games, it seems like we, we're always having the trials in the exact same courtroom. The first two games, I think especially Jangarapa 2, changed things up a little bit. Not much, just a few things here and there and the color scheme was changed, but overall it, it was the same looking place maybe, but it changed things up subtly. This was some some subtle ways, some obvious ways. But for Danganronpa 3, it was the same exact place every single time. Nothing was changed, except for now. That's interesting. It looks more like the first game, I think. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. Only a scene works of fiction to have themes as, a, as magnificent as this. You don't say. Why? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. Maybe because he actually isn't the mastermind. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. Do it. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know? Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. 
will defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, let's get started. Mix equal parts of life and death. Add a dash of truth, lies and truth. Bake it on fires of conflict. And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. And once more, we face a class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. Ugh. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Do you want to save? No, no thank you. Not for me, good sir. I already saved. Unified against the mastermind, Kokichi. The students must survive a class trial without knowing. Go faster. The murderer or the victim. Oh my god, go faster. An, unpre an unpredictable, I thought I was gonna say unprecedented. An unpredictable trial begins. Uh, let me see. Oh, can I, can I use this one? Wait. My fragments. I've seen. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Fuck. I don't have enough fragments. But I spent time with a lot of people, you know, and that ended up failing too, didn't it? God damn it. High attention. Uh, the, the tension gauge will increase the faster rate. Uh, no. Controlling focus. Increases the maximum focus a little. Effective during all parts of the class trial. Can be... No. Downshift. Slows the speed of the reticle. Effective during the non-stop debates. Can become an upshift. Uh, no. uh, don't really need that. St. Miko's ability. Silences all conversations except those the reticle is on. Effective during master... Oh, that's probably good. I'll take that. Librarian's glare. Instantly, instantly signs loud voices. Ah, my... oh, shit. Can I? It's spent already, though, isn't it? Ah, god damn it. Hmm? Oh, I just, I just removed something. Fuck. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. Simica's ability. Just a peek. Your tile screen will light up more frequently. Effective than him to get. Oh, I should. I need to get that. Fuck. Safety first. Move the time penalty for breaking an anonymous book piece. Uh, did I have that? I don't know if I had that or not. All right. Well, let's go. Class trial is in session. I should be sad for for monophony, but I mean, you know, eh, I don't mind incest, but those two having kids together could not happen. I don't want to get political, but those two having kids together should not happen. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for 
That's interesting. A question mark. An orange question mark. Vote correctly, and only the blackens will be punished. If you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. You know what? He's right. Considering that what the outside world is now, unless that was a big trick, which I fuck it could be, I don't know. Unless that was actually a trick, th this all, th yeah, this all is meaningless. It does, it doesn't matter. We'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow, an actual talking robot. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, maybe it is Kokichi. The way you always talk down to Kibo. Seriously? He's messing with you. What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. And technically speaking, so is the killer, but that's the case of every trial, isn't it? Given these circumstances... I decided to start off this quest trial while the victim is still anonymous! After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste! God damn it, Monokuma! That's brilliant. It is interesting. I, like, I do like how the third game, as I said before, but I like how the, how the third game threw some wrenches into the into the, the whole procedure. Is it possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. <clears throat> I guess. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. And even if you we're all wrong somehow, which considering this series, maybe. But as Kibo said, it, it, there's no point. There's nothing out there anymore. So even if they do get it wrong and they all get killed, it, what does it matter? Yeah, but anyway, let's see what happens. But, I mean, he also said that they're gonna fight against Monokuma no matter what, anyway. So, now oh, whatever. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure. If we don't positively identify the victim, the other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, mm. we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. <laughs> Everyone thinks Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Here we go. Make your arguments. Just can't. Anyway, 
There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to, cl to declare who the victim is. Also, I think I may have seen a spoiler. I'm looking at that guide I had and, uh... What? Plus, wait, it doesn't tell me actually who... Who is who. I saw something. Yeah, they can. Let me see. So it seems. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Yes, but Kokichi's clothes are also bloody, and they seem to someone would seem to, to have been trying to destroy them or get rid of them. So yeah, both are clues here. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence things. Ever since the, she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that, that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito was still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung, is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito was alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Do tell. There's something peculiar about those clothes. Sleeve of the jacket, maybe? That's it. Okay. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? I guess to well implant the idea that it was Kaito who was killed. I mean I'm not saying it's not possible in real life. The sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. Let me just check something real quick, because I'm pretty sure that's flawed logic right there. Yeah, right there. He, like, he never wore it. He never actually put his arms through the sleeves. He always wore it as a cape. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... I didn't hear what she said, but I understand the sentiment. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. I just looked at it. He never wore it as a cape, as a, with his sleeves, arms in the sleeves. If you can even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. 
There we go. The battle showdown. Kato's coat. Whoops. Advance. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. Yeah. He never put his arms to his coat sleeves. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Well, a few with people be agreeing with people. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arms to his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normal. Did well, obviously this is this is just the uh, the official artwork that they're using for this for for his character profile. Did I don't I don't know if I ever noticed that. Sure wasn't the right one. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? Also possible. It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki. What's really going on? Seems you made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. <sighs> oh no, do you think she did it? She's being suspicious. What the fuck was Rontaro's talent? Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Then again, you can maybe reason that Maki is blinded by hatred right now. That she doesn't want to accept the fact that Kaito is alive. Not, not, not that she doesn't want him to be alive, but the the rage is blinding her to seeing to being sensible. Oh damn it, I can't call it sensible Maki anymore. I don't know. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Oh boy. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! <sighs> okay, so who do you think it's gonna be? Not that Monokuma or Junko or whomever actually cares one way or the other. Oh boy. In use? Is it someone brand new altogether? Or an old character returning? Wait, really? I thought someone was going to come out of it. What? Why is an exosol here? <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? Exosol Kaito. What? What is this? Exact. What the fuck is this? Is that Kaito's voice? What, did he transfer his mind to the exosol or something? So I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. I don't know that that I believe you. Come out right now. That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? 
Come out of that thing right now. Let me see your face. Man, Derek Stephen Prince, it's hard to not want to throat punch you right now. Pichichi? Open up the cockpit and let me see. I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's cool. How old are you? Is that an actual song? I have no idea what song that is. So Kaito's dead. Is that really you, Kokichi? Yeah, I don't know. That's exactly what I said. Like, open the cockpit and let me see. That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. What if we promise that she doesn't? Show yourself, let me see. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. Where did that come from? in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. W what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monica have grabbed the camera from the exosol, hooked up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I think that's the first time we've, we've, we've ever actually seen someone die in the series. I mean, I mean, outside of a punishment. What say you now, Shuichi? Huh? Kaito? I don't know. Is it, is it even real? Are we sure that Kokichi isn't faking all of this? Of course, you would add, like to add that. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button, so you can't edit after filming. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Uh, I was gonna say that next. But I uh, know you got me. Found on any of the computers inside the academy. 
see. If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Yeah. Just added that in, huh? Was that... Was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brains splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. You ever play Mortal Kombat, Sumugi? Mortal Kombat 1 looks pretty cool. Stop it. I'll probably get it later on after... They're going to come out with a complete edition, as they always do. So I'm, I'm just going to wait for that to come out. Why? Why was... Kaito killed. Why was Mew killed? You should be asking that question. Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? What? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? God damn it, Shuchi, get out of here with your logic. Oh man, you got me. Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own brain. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kite. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. Well, you done goofed. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Well, oh, man. I dug my own grave again. Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. Well, so now what? Is he gonna kill himself? I mean, Junko did, but will, will Kokichi? But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Uh, here comes the part where he, where he what's what's the word? I'm, what's the phrase I'm looking for? It shrugs off Junko, and it's all for himself, right? Junko knew it. Whatever, it's voting time now. 
Let's go before Kokichi changes his. No, hold on a second. This isn't right. Ah, oh, god damn it, Shuichi. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends. That's not how this goes. Not normally, but this is how it happened. Let's vote, everyone. <sighs> no, it doesn't. All right. What do you have to say, Shuichi, to prolong this? to pick the the wrong blackened to get everyone else killed I guess what well yeah dude that's that's exactly what I mean unless Kaito committed suicide is it possible Well, unless he committed suicide, if it's not Kokichi, it has to be one of you five. So what we we, we going what for? Then the culprit must be one of us. That's not possible. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Juichi is so distrusting. Yeah, well, Kokichi, um, um, Shoichi, rather, you say that, but I, like, like I just said, if it wasn't Kokichi, now let's, let's assume that, that Kaito didn't commit suicide, which I think about it, maybe he did. It has to be one of you five. But no, 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 I didn't say it was one of us. I'm, I'm just saying, okay, okay, well, by that logic, it has to be one of you five. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could tell. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting to you. Himiko, was it you? Because you're the one who actually had that black case and brought it to the, the scene of the crime. Uh, are you serious? Just like Kisame. Which was a very forced, half-assed, last-second characterization for him before he died. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? Make your argument. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. You all saw that footage from earlier, right? They were so graphic. Safety function. And Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus now. Is that even possible? No, it couldn't be. Right, the safety function. Well, so he had to already be dead then, wouldn't he? Whoever committed 
And maybe he did commit suicide. Was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi though. Then the culprit is Kokichi Uma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Okay, I think I know what the answer is. Um, let's see. There we go. Crushed to death, or was he already dead? You think it's crooked? <laughs> I love mentioning that. Yep. You would know if you investigated with me, non magical girl Himiko Yumino. Yes, it was written on the safety precaution. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. What say you now, Maki Harukawa? Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Poisoned arrows, maybe? So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. If that's the case, then the, then the whole thing wouldn't work to begin with. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also. We don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes. There was a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Ah, shit, what was it? Around the press itself? Wait. This is it. Right. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Well, you know, I was thinking I was thinking that maybe Kaito had another was coughing up blood again, and maybe it was worse this time, and he just knew his time was coming, so he said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going out on my own terms. And then went over and dragged himself went over coughing up blood cleaning the trail over to the press but now I think about it you know that's that can't be right oh that was the restroom where Kaido was being held wasn't it blood stains were also found inside the bathroom that can't be coincidence even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. All right, right there, right there. There. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death.
Uh, it's cause of death. Yeah, never said anything about a weapon. Hit me with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. <sighs> okay, I'll just buy the game on Xbox then. How about that? I mean bought it today on PlayStation, then tomorrow oh shit, it's on sale on Xbox. And Steam, and I'll buy them buy them them there. Having backup copies is a good idea. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, I'm not freaking out. Yeah, you are. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No one said it was a weapon. No. It's not impossible. I can show you. I mean, it is a weapon, you know, like... See this small hole in Kaito's sleeve? Oh, uh, it wasn't a weapon. Well, I said it was a weapon, but why did you bring up the word weapon? The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve? Where is it? Right here. This is it. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. Himiko, what did you do? The crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? And seemingly so were Koki was, uh, was Kokichi, twice even. And we did find three arrows in the bathroom. If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. Don't you have a Digimon Empire to to be running right now? Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. It's like Kingdom Hearts, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. No. Master Silencer. And Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Yeah. Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Gotcha. That's wrong. And I'm not even using the guide right now. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. Remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! Ah, I've still got my number one suspect right now. Put 
seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Yeah. I mean, if you know your friend flat out committed a crime, or you suspect them of it, yeah, man. It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial too. Cause the evidence fucking. S All right. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know why I'm trying to explain this. I'm trying to justify or defend anything. I don't know. Hey, we talk about how my favorite characters are dead. Because you're all fucking suspicious. <laughs> Every character in this series is suspicious. Except for Aoi. She's 100% innocent no matter what. For forever and ever. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of the spare... Someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. We very much are letting rage take control. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? I guess. That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. Was there a way for... I don't know. Let's just keep seeing what, what, what's going to happen. What? Are you after my small hole too? No. I wanted Mew. And Kaede. And Tenko. And maybe Kurumi. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, fuck. Where was... We should have had Mew there for that interaction. Fuck the riders. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I count four people. And I'm pretty sure two of those people wouldn't do it. So that leaves, I don't know, the victim and Himiko. All right. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Thank you, Kibo, for finally saying something. Although I will say that it's it's, it's possible whatever made Himiko grab the crossbow. How'd she, how'd she get into, into Maki's um, laboratory anyway? But if the crossbows were already disassembled and put into the bags, it's quite possible that she just grabbed the bag and brought it over to the hangar without actually looking inside of it. So I'll give her that benefit of the doubt. But the point is, she did go there. She did have it and she did take it to that area. I, I, I was I glanced at you. I was watching Mew, really. But Mew is dead. Shut up. Did it? Do you know that for sure? You that you 
Oh, is this gonna be a mass panic debate? I can already feel it. The door's just unlocked? I mean, okay, well, I as the player can go into anyone's place, I guess, but like, that's just a gameplay element. Say that though, don't they? Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit. Knew it. Fuck, could you shut the fuck up here? Just look at the, ins the, the inconsistencies in her testimony. There's a lie there somewhere in her testimony. Okay, so ignore Kokichi. I went to the hangar, but. She did though. She came back. She left without. According to to Kibo himself, she left without uh, taking anything with it. She came with the bag, left without it. So as far as we know, she left empty empty handed. Why am I being treated as the cult like the culprit? Actually brought it. Okay, I just I just looked at the guide here. Punish my magic. I didn't bring anything back. Oh no. Oh, man, I almost had it. You get trophy if you get through an entire trial without making any mistakes. That's when now I see what it is. Son of a bitch, man. I 
every fucking time he. Can I, can I get rid of that? Dude, what the hell? All right. Dude, fuck you so goddamn much, man. Ran out to ah, fuck. Are you? Oh, my, my fucking God. The fucking ah, oh, less than fucking. F Oh, that's nice. Oh, fuck everything. Time up. Damn, I made too many mistakes. Do they think I did it? Hmm? Done debating already? Well, this next part's mandatory, so let's get it over with. It's voting time! <laughs> Is this really the end? Yes, we try. We can't let it end here. Holy fuck, man. I see exactly what the hell damn thing the co fucking Kokich keeps getting in the way. Ugh. What? What the fuck do you mean you didn't hit it? What do I need to do to get through this? Country. Shoot, 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 shoot bullet. Shoot cylinder. Concentrate. Ah. I can't.
give me a minute here. Give me a fucking minute here. Christ in heaven. You said that you went to the hangar empty handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? Yes, it is. And just to explain what I did, I honestly, I ended up just quitting out of the game, reloading my save file, and doing the entire trial up to this point again. Uh, but this time, I bought a different skill, one that actually silences all those loud voices. So you saw the chains breaking. That was that skill. Fuck, man. If I ha if I had enough, um, not skill points. What are they? Well, fuck. It just says skill points. If I had enough skill points, I would have bought that too, as well as what I bought the last time. I had just one less than less than I needed. <sighs> Apparently, you actually can do it without that skill, but dude, I couldn't do it. You saw me try and fail it uh, like five times. More than five times, actually. All right, so let's move on. Let's continue. Yeah, you're lying, Himiko. You had something when you went to the hangar. What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. Why are you smiling? He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Kibo has very nice hair from behind. No, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. She can't do that though. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Don't so speaking. Everyone here is a fictional character. Himiko. Non magical girl, Himiko. Carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. What now, you lying liar? I guess. Okay, but why? That is true. <laughs> but can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Back into it. But you brought the crossbow. I totally agree. We hush. Yeah, but why? Yep, yep, that's true too. I didn't even use the crossbow. Then why don't you have it? And that's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. Oops. <laughs> yep, it's all my fault. To hit Kaito with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could non magical girl Himiko have done this? That's the question. Thank you. 
stupid why though is my question. That's true too. Oh, damn it. Consent. She's kind of young, isn't she? I mean, that's what you want, Shuichi. I don't think Kimiko used a crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Right. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Yumiko how to assemble the crossbow? Okay, Maki, did you teach her how to, to assemble the crossbow? You didn't teach me that, right, Maki? Oh, no, I taught you. You don't remember? <laughs> did you? You can easily just say no right now. Him. Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. Unlike you, Kokichi, and sometimes Himiko. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! Just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! No. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then... Why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was... Clearly Kaito. That's it! Was it... Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Didn't, does anybody even like Kokichi in the fandom, I mean? I know you like me. Well, look at that. I didn't plan that, but... Does anyone like Kokichi? Okay, well, she still hates you. Oh, stop it! <laughs> we don't have time for this. Hey, don't play with heart. He's, he's probably lying too, you know that, right? But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is just trying to keep the problems we made yesterday. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are, are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, I know. Sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. 
None of you guys are friends at all. Himiko, why did you believe him? You think? I was so nervous about fighting for Pichi. I couldn't get to sleep. I walked near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then I don't need to know that. We're together, obviously. Was he actually gonna try to kill Kokichi himself? Is that it? And there's proof of that. And we'll find that. Uh, we'll, we'll find that proof later on. Some other time. Ugh. This has been a nightmare so far. But it's fun. Alright, so. Look, I'll talk to you guys later.